Hello and welcome to Trash Tape, not L-I-V-E Live this time, because we are not live at all today. We are pre-taped just to hype up maybe the return of Trash Talk, but before we get on to that and the today's show and my guest, I want to, um, what you just seen in the very beginning of the show was a guy that I've worked for, I have mad respect for, he passed away this, around February 14th, Damian Michaels. Um... You know, you're a great soul. You had one heck of a federation going on. I missed the wacky Friday night shows. Caution, high risk wrestling, which was at one time on Channel 57. And this show goes out to you. And this show goes out to all the independent wrestlers out there. This is Trash Talking T-A-P-D. Well, I guess it's supposed to be Hollywood Rob. Of course, his flight from Hollywood, California is obviously arriving late. That's why I don't go on late going on planes. But anyways, before I get on to my special guest, I want to do my little shots out. Like I said, this is Atlantis Lays It Down, or Outlandish, which is going to be the brand new show, April 26th on Channel 57, where I'm singing Boys and Men. For one more time, you might see reality shows. You'll see all kinds of outlandish stuff on this channel. Let's just say people's going to be praying for me to stop because I'm coming back 10 times better than ever. But I want to do my shots out list. My show's always, man, like Jeff Landis right here. Like Jeff Landis on Facebook. So far, I got 148 likes. I would love to appreciate more because I'm here to do Outlandish. I'm here for you guys, pretty much. I got shows down the road where I'm doing a fan appreciation night, which I'll read all the fan mail. I'll show all the newspapers that I've been in and everything else. Excuse me. I'm very hypnotized. Anyways, excuse me once again. Show out to my kids, Brett and JJ Landis. Daddy loves you very, very much. Every show goes out to you. Um, Lisa Yon, my biggest fan, shout out to you, uh, Jamie Chestnut, Anna Smith, Tamara Caldwell, James Thorne, Misha Taylor, Mishka Taylor, sorry, Carla Class, Michael Carter, Matt Swig, Nate Moran, Tommy Goins, Tabby Cox, Chad, uh, Chad Deeds, Kenny Bachelor, Whitney Mitchell, Steve Haggard, Rebecca Carson, Dana Horn, and Ashley McKenzie Mercer. That's all is a script to me. I don't believe in scripts. Scripts are nothing. But anyways, my special guest for tonight at Trash Talking T-A-P-D, so you say, you know, Trash Talking Live, is American Pitbull. How are you doing, guys? Guys where? You, oh, oh, the, oh, okay, okay, I understand. You are known as, you work for the Federation called All-American Wrestling Alliance, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you've got a food coming up with your dad here yeah. in a couple of weeks. I mean, that boy's gonna get a whooping that he ain't never had in his life. I'm gonna tell you that when I get in that cage, I'm gonna rip his head right off. Right. We've we've heard you sit there and talk about how you want your dad, how bad you want to do this and that. But you know, tonight he is not on the show because this is trash talk in TAPD, taped. Um, I don't care when I see him. I even see him on the streets. I just want to rip his head off. This guy's street cred is so bad that he's not. He's only known as the wife stealer because he sold my wife. Go figure. But I'm not gonna get personal on that. And you know, and this guy will go so low as to make things up just to make somebody be with him and stuff like that, and just do what he wants, pretty much. He, I he, do whatever I want. When I want. He's a low life. He'll, 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 he don't care who he hurts. He doesn't care if he hurts no matter. I don't no care better. about none of you fans out there either. I hope you hear that too. All right, you hear America Pitbull is very, very vicious on everything. Why do you hide your identity? Oh, not enough about that. Right now, I want to show you a match. We're gonna get back to you. Trust me, we'll get back to you. I want to show you a I match. What? I wasn't done yet. All right, go ahead. Let, 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 let's see what. Let's hear what he's gonna say. And see, because so, obviously uh, watching. What about me and you next time? About me and you next time. You want a match with me? Mm-hmm. Why do you want a match with me? I want to rip your head off too, just like I want to rip everybody else. Uh, are you aware that I retire as an active wrestler? Don't, uh, don't. But you never know what can you expect. I guess so. Let's so go whatever you said. So, we so why, why, why you're coming on my show disrespecting me? What the hell is your damn problem, huh? This is my like show. You, you don't, don't like me? Like you? I want to be like you. You heard it first. That's probably why I stole my ex-wife because he wants to be like me. But it, it's great. Why? So what, you want to be better than I am? That's right. I want to take the, my federation to the top. Ah, uh, and you'll hurt anybody I'll to hurt do what you want? anybody to do what I want and when I want. Huh. Backstreets, yeah. ring, I don't care. Right. Now, Ollie's, I don't care. Obviously, your match that you got coming up is going to be crazy, but right now I want to show a match between Benjamin Boone and Frankie the Face from FEW. Go to FEW.com. 
to check out Great Wrestling Federation. And this is one hell of a federation which I've been with. This is like family to me. So if you can, roll the footage of that match between Benjamin Boone and... Ready to get it on. After a little appropriate posing. Both men veterans of the FEW. Big Bear Benjamin Boone, both men from Michigan. You got a souvenir. Frankie the Vase gave you his cape. Well, he can have it back. He's only got a face the mother could love. That is very disrespectful to call him Yogi Bear. It's, it's Big Bear Giants. Benjamin Boom. People get it right. Big Bear, a couple gut shots. Frankie the Face. Backed into the corner. Oh, oh goes for a schoolboy. One, two. Oh. Trying to go for a handful of tights, I thought. I didn't see any tights pulling. I did. Superheroes don't cheat. <laughs> okay. The face. Big Bear Benjamin Boone, no stranger to the FBW ring. Huge competitor. Boone got him backed up in the corner. It's a clean break. I'll get I'll, I'll, I'll give Boone. He gave him a clean break. Clean Boone break. hungry as a bear for his shot at the FEW title. But as with anybody in the FEW, you've got to fight your way to the top. Or if you're Mitchell Taylor or the Billionaires, I guess you can buy your way. They climbed the ladder like the rest everybody else would. Well, yeah, as long as they were paying someone to uh, push them up each rung Did at a time. Did you see them get money? No. You just, you just wish you had their money. Big Bear, Benjamin Boone, the crowd getting to him. Part of the mind game when you step into the FEW squared circle. Well, arm locks. Benjamin <laughs> Boone. A hard poke to the eyes and then a slap. Oh, a knife edge chop. Follows it up. And a blatant choke right in front of the official. Well, I seen Frankie grab his hand and put it on his throat. Big Bear Benjamin Boone. You know who could use this strategy? The, the Bears. The Bears. In their losing season. Big Bear Ben Boone also facing his own losing season of a sorts here in the FEW. Oh! Hard chop crumples the big man to the canvas. Right in the face. Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Mickey calls for it. Whoa! Baseball slide. Nobody home. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> big well, I wouldn't call that Make a Wish Foundation. Right in the Cubs. Ben Boone, feeling the effects of that one. Been disqualification. One, two, and whoa, two close. Count. Close two counts. Boone eventually kicked out. Ooh. Hard knee to the face. Two, followed up by another. 
Frank in the face, looks for the flying forearm and nobody home, Big Bear is gonna take advantage of this situation. Hard stops to the gut. Feeling all of that. Why does Frankie keep grabbing Boone's hand and putting it on his phone? Why does he want to be choked? I don't think that's Frankie's doing. It sure, if like he had an option in the match. Boone didn't do it on his Might own. Might pursue a different course of action. God, I'm going to get you some glasses. You ain't saying things right. And a two count. Those two. Big Bear Benjamin Boone frustrated with our official Jason Harding. Well, he should have had a little bit of faster count. That's Make why sure I'm out here and he's in there. Make sure to check out FWFEW.com for news and results on all your favorite FEW events and superstars. Now what I'd like to talk about is we've got the FEW's first ever lumberjack match this evening between Jack Reveal and the champion, the hype Jimmy Shalwick. As we've seen, there are enough people with the billionaires that they could probably do the lumberjack match by themselves, but thankfully that's not the case. Not only will the billionaires have to deal with, uh, with their man, Jimmy the Hype Show, and putting his belt up against Jack Reveal, but he'll God, also have to deal with the Jack rest of the locker room. About it. Oh, oh, a hard Irish whip. And a sidewalk slam. That could do it for Frankie the face. Hard impact, two and no, two count only. Frankie the face. Getting very aggravated. If he doesn't like the FBW staff, he should bring his own. Nope, correction. Maybe he shouldn't. All 256 pounds of the big bear. And Frankie has felt every ounce of it. Frankie the face. Oh, belly to belly. Belly to belly suplex. Lance. Frankie the face in the middle of the canvas. I guess. Boone said it's all right here. Oh, ho. Frankie the face with a little extra oomph gets those knees up in time. Big Bear Benjamin Boone finds nothing but a belly full of boots. Both men at the canvas. Jason Harding, the official, counting. Got to the four count. Both men crawling to their feet slowly, surely. Both men are back on their feet. Fourth, quiet enough for Frankie the face. A couple of hard rights. Oh, and a flying elbow. Pace with yet another clothesline. Oh, Frankie the face telegraphing his intentions. Frankie the face is getting very It's not gonna matter. Oh, Frankie the face with a flying knee butt. Two, two count only for Frankie the face. You gotta imagine Big Bear Benjamin Boone is not used to being manhandled like this. No, he's not. Yeah. Whole new ball game for him. Frankie the face with a jump and a leap, some fancy oh, footwork. The face there. See, he's telling Boone he's number one. Frankie the face. I think he was saying he was number one. Oh, Big Bear Benjamin Boone runs him into that turnbuckle. Ben Boone calling for it. He's about had it up. Well, Frankie just gave a big boot to his face. Was that what he's calling for? Frankie the face to the top rope. He goes flying. Big cross body. Two. Two count only. What an impact. It just shows you how. Over a quarter ton of men in like that, that ring right now. Frankie face looking for a pump handle slam. Can't quite get it. Big Bear Ben Boone pulls the 
feet out from under and gets his feet on the ropes too. The three count. Holy cow, what a blatant cheat. What, he got the pin, one, two, three. Hi, it's me, Jeff Landis of Trash Talk and TAPD. That match which you just seen was from FEW, Federation of Elite Wrestlers, a great company I work for, a place I can call home. The Federation is, the website is www.fwfew.com. And speaking of that, before I get on with my guest once again, the referee saw that match, Jason Harding. Congratulations, buddy. We've been friends for a long time. You helped me out with advice for everything. I appreciate it, and I appreciate your help. Congratulations on getting signed to World Wrestling Federate Entertainment. Sorry. Keep thinking. Sorry. Like I said, this is pre-taped. Where, you know, where I'm taped, I don't cut anything out because I believe in, you never know what to expect. By the way, you have my good side right here. See right here, if the cameraman can zoom in right here. On my good, my baby face side right here. Yeah, I got my good side right here. Then you got my evil side. Today I'm very unique. You've got the Jeff Landis versus Hot Stuff Jeff Landis right here. So you never know what you can expect here tonight on Trash Talking T A P D tape. God, I want to say L I V E live, but I can't. So, what's up? I got a big nose. My name's Jeff. Hi, big nose. You come on my show and you try to disrespect. What is this? You're a referee? You can't uh, fight me? You too scared? Are you a wussy? I referee now. You're a referee. Yes, I am a You're referee. You're going to stop me from putting my hands on you. Dude, I've, I've been beat up before. I've been beat up by Eli oh, Devlin, yeah. Kid X, I and Kid X. The patch on the face. I got the my fire. face burnt. With the fire in the face. <laughs> oh, you're going to bring that up, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm evil like that. What is your deal, dude? What you come? I invite you on as a guest, and you disrespect me. What That's the right. f is your problem, dude? Why? I want to be like you, and I'm going to be better than you. So you come on my show, talking me down, disrespecting me. Maybe one of these times I'll take over your show too. <laughs> when hell freezes over, you are At least not. I ain't wearing a referee shirt. Dude, I come here to be unique and different, but yet you come on my show and disrespect me. That's right. Oh, Why? My good side and my baby, my face side. Man, you know you look like look like Scarface a little bit. At least I'm not hiding under a mask, being a oh, little. What's wrong with hiding underneath a mask? You I wrestled with the Ruche Rebe. You said, why do you come on my show and disrespect me? I don't go on your it's show my and job, and I don't care. About I don't go you on your show. I don't go on your else. second rate show and sit there and. Dog, you and, and you come on my show. I invite you on as a guest, and you treat me like I'm a piece of crap. Are you smoking something? No, I'm not smoking. I'm gonna smoke you. Ugh. I hate idiots like you who come on. I try to do something for Are you right. Saying I'm better than you? Is that what you're saying? You're saying you're better than. That is never gonna happen, dude. It you will claim happen. to be like me. I've never seen you in any newspapers or anything like that. You come on my show, trash talking to APT. On my show, and you sit there and disrespect That's me? That's right. I'll disrespect anybody. But why are you doing that to me? I invited you on. I, I go, don't care I go. about that flag. I don't care about those fans. I don't care about anybody else. I don't even care about kids. Dude, I go on your show. Whosoever show it is, the show that puts me to sleep, I go on that show, and I host it. But, yeah, I invite you on as a guest, and you treat me like crap? What are you on? <laughs> huh? Evil. Evil. You're lucky I cannot hit you, cause otherwise I'd be getting kicked off the station. My, you are making me that mad. You come on my show, and you disrespect me. And what are you gonna do when when I have a special guest next week, or not next week on the next show, trash talking taped? Hollywood Rob's gonna be here. You gonna treat him like crap yes, too? Yes, I will. I don't care about Hollywood Rob. I don't care about Sean Armstrong. I don't care about anybody else. Why are you doing this, dude? I told you. I call evil, you evil hill. To be nice evil. enough to come on my show. And I don't even care about this American flag shirt I have on my You come on my shirt. show and you disrespect me? That's right, I do. I told you. I told everybody. I don't care about anybody else. I don't care about no fans. I don't even care about the camera guy. I don't care about nothing. 
why are you going so deep as offending my crew? They're here, they're sitting. I don't care they're, about they're, they're here. Norm Compton's doing the great job. I told great you, job it's for evil. Shut up, Doctor. I want revenge. Norm Compton's doing good on directing. Thanks for that earlier shot that you did at Damian Michaels. Uh, Paul Brandt, which is doing audio, he he does pretty good. He did the the production of the FEW and Dean Colberg. Thank you for helping me out. But why are you disrespecting my crew? <laughs> they did not do a damn thing to you. Because I told you, buddy, it's pure evil. Yeah, still, you I'm evil. They didn't do a damn thing to you. You disrespect my crew. Why? What crew do you have? The camera crew, the people. You got Hollywood Rob on your crew. I'm talking about the production. What is that big I'm talking about, about the production crew that's helping me out today. Why do you got to be like that? Because I'm mean like that. <sighs> if we weren't in the studio and if I was oh, retired, yeah. things would be different. Not only you got personal by taking my ex wife, which I really don't care about, like that, but you sit there, you do this, then you come on my show? This is my, th this, this is my surviving, this is, this and my kids are my number one Man. reason. I will have his show one of these times. Are the reason why I do what I do. It's for my kids and for the show and for the support of everybody. Kids? What and kids? <laughs> like I said, I'm pure evil and I don't care about anybody else. Man. I'm... Why can't we have a policy where I can just got, knock him out? I got him apple. Oh, my huh? God. This is driving me nuts. Anyways, I, I'm on Facebook, too. If you want to like me or add me, go to Jeff Landis like page on Facebook, which you see right here. Right there. What you just put in front of you? It is right on the screen. It's just right on the screen. I can't. I, I, I don't go like table. You take away the illusion of things. You ruin things. What is your deal, man? Just because you want to think you're better than me, I'm you try be to be better than you. I want to be in papers. I want to be everything else too. I want to be the great wrestler to the top. Uh. What is your deal? What is your deal, dude? You try to disrespect me on my show? You come and you do this? What is your problem? Huh? Because <laughs> I don't like you. But you come on my show and yet you disrespect me? You disrespect my crew? You disrespect my children? What is your deal? I disrespect everybody. I disrespect oh. all Americans. Mm. Can I please, whoever ever is in charge of the insurance, let me kick his ass. Let me do it. I really want to do it. You're kicking my ass. No, you're I really want. You need an army to kick this boy's butt. You're lucky that there's a company policy. So if there was no insurance, you would go through that damn window right, right over there. You'd go through this table. <sighs> Man. Yeah, you. Don't forget about next show, Hollywood Rock. I'm so mad, dude. Why do you disrespect me by coming on my show? I told you I disrespect all Americans. And you're American. I understand. And I agree on some of your views. But you're coming on trash talking taped. And just disrespect. Why you disrespect me? How am I disrespecting you? Oh, I'm a wife stealer. <coughs> How you did, you disrespecting me? You don't like it? That's too right. bad. It's the truth. <coughs> truth hurts, I know, doesn't it? And unfortunately, after the show, you're going to be hurt. Oh yeah, I oh, yeah. hope so. Just wait, <laughs> just wait. Cause when the cameras as go off, as soon as Hollywood Rob comes on next show, I'm gonna disrespect him too. Oh, you're gonna you you think you can just disrespect anybody, huh? That's right. We signed that that two show contract, so I, you are obligated to be on the next show. I can't break the contract. This is really really making me mad, very very much, dude. You come on trash talking and you just. Treat me with disrespect. I mean, my crew does it all they can, and yeah, you disrespect them. Crew? You ain't got a camera. You ain't got a camera guy there. A camera guy there. You got one guy running camera. So Come you, on you got now. You, you got to just do that and just call me out like that, huh? Look, this is there's a uh, no camera guy here, no camera guy. There's a camera guy right here that's running all three cameras. I see. You have to fail to realize this is that you know. That remember, you, you're trying to be like me, and you know it ain't gonna happen. Just remember one thing. What? You never want to run upon me. Nobody does. I did fight you at FWWA event, and you beat that me. That was one time. You beat me due to Sean Armstrong helping out. Speaking of Sean Armstrong, I'm heard he's supposed to make a special call in. Well, I hope he does, cause I'm gonna disrespect him while he's on the phone too. Huh? 
Wow, you think you can run rampant and disrespect everybody on TV, from crew, from kids? What is your deal? I understand you hate everybody. Why are you so hateful? Is it because everybody hates you? I don't care if they hate me. I want but, to. But yet, you are nothing but a cruel son of a bitch. I can say that. We're pre-taped. We're going to be on late night. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even care about nothing else either. I don't care about my life. So you, you just came on my show just to use me for your name to get out there. Yes, I did. Mm. Not really. I'm going to show everybody very, that guy told very you. Very mad right that now to the you, point Mr. where I want to snap on you. Mr. Referee, let me tell you something. Next show, I will disrespect you even twice as worse. Damn contracts. Remind Mr. me next time not to have you even on my show or near my show. I'll show up. Because you... So you I have security go on that door. Didn't you fire me from your All American Wrestling Federation show? It's not Federation. It's Alliance. Alliance, whatever you had with your lover. But you came in with the lawyer and threatened me with the... If I didn't hire you back, you was going to have me arrested. you damn right. You begged for me to come back. And you, I had to get all my lawyers. You begged for me to... Will you host the show to make it look good? And did I? Yes, I did. But yeah, you come on as a guest to my show, disrespecting the living out of me. It's my job. Still. You know why it's my job? Because I like getting you mad. Well, you know what? It's working good. It's working really, really good. You okay, know Mr. that? Clown face. Could somebody Why don't give you me... just shave that other side, too, and make it your other good side? I'm being very unique. You're being very unique. Unique. Can you say unique? Unique. Don't forget to like Jeff Landis on Facebook. Jeff Landis like? Whatever. Right here on the screen. Jeff Landis on Facebook. He's really, really making me mad to where I just want to punch the living daylights out of him. But dude, the last time I got suspended for one year because I got my ass kicked. Don't even don't even laugh about that. <laughs> don't even laugh about that. You're fine. I All just right. have to make you out there, man. Thanks for watching Trash Talking T A P D. This is gonna be a little hype up of what you could expect from Trash Talking. Like I said, don't forget about Outlandish. It's gonna be shows of skits and everything but, else. I gotta run. Are you supposed to be like trash talking? Aren't you supposed to talk trash as you can? And of course my disrespectful guest. American roof, 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 pit bull. That's right. The American pit bull. Bullshit, pretty much. <sighs> well, this has been Trash Talking TAPD. Don't forget this next guest will be live. Not live. I wish we were live. Next best school be guest will be. He's got my blood broiling so bad to where I'm pissed off. You can see it, obviously, if my veins popping out of my head, which it probably is. Yeah. That means I'm pissed off. Oh, well, we got to go. I'll see you guys with Hollywood Rob. <laughs>